The roster of animals currently available in Planet Zoo includes 158 different species. 39 of those are the exhibit animals and this video will focus on them. I feel like there are so many smaller common zoo animals that are still missing in the game and today I would like to share with you guys my list of the exhibit species that I still would love to see in Planet Zoo. Hello guys, this is Caesar Creates and welcome back to my channel! <laughs> My last wish list that included the habitat animals was a huge success and you guys really loved it, so thank you for that. Because of that I decided to make a similar video that will feature the exhibit species and I really hope you guys will enjoy it as well. Again, my list here is quite long and I am fully aware that I won't see the day when all of those animals will be added, but I would be super happy to see at least some of them in the game. I know that the exhibit species are not the most exciting animals in Planet Zoo, but just imagine the real life zoo without the reptile house. This list will include animals for both types of the exhibits that we currently have in the game, the regular exhibits and the walkthrough exhibits, and again I grouped all the animals according to their taxonomy and their order in the video has no particular meaning. This is not the top 10 or anything like that, those are just the animals that I like and I miss in the game. So without further ado, to, let's begin and let's bring back Caesar's list. Let's begin today's wish list with the group that is very common in zoos around the world, the snakes. There are so many popular species of snakes missing in Planet Zoo and my wish list includes here. The King Cobra which is the world's longest venomous snake that is known for rising the front part of its body and extending its hood when it is alarmed. This next snake is a primarily arboreal emerald tree boa. Just look at this green color. The black mamba is a venomous fast moving snake coming from Africa. And this is its more arboreal cousin, the western green mamba. The yellow anaconda is already in the game but we are still missing the green anaconda, the iconic world's heaviest snake. The other common constrictor that is surprisingly still missing is the reticulated python. The other python that found its way into my list and that I actually saw for the first time during my visit to San Diego Zoo is the Woma python. The eyelash viper is the snake named after its characteristic scales above its eyes. The other species of viper that I included here is the gaboon viper. It has a beautiful pattern that provides the perfect camouflage among dead dry leaves. This is a really pretty snake that is often kept as a pet, the milk snake. Its unique coloration would add a pop of color to our reptile houses. The same goes for the corn snake, another reptile commonly kept at home by the reptile enthusiasts. The funny looking long nosed whip snake must be one of my favorite animals ever. Just look at this angry looking noodle. As a European, I just had to include one snake that comes from the region where I live and I decided to choose the Aesculapian snake, the brown colored constrictor that can grow up to 2 meters. The next group that we'll cover in today's video is lizards. So if you are sensitive to watching the crawling snakes, I promise that we are done with those. Unless you are also sensitive to insects and spiders because they are incoming as well, so brace yourselves. But coming back to our lizards, I am sure that during your regular zoo visits you are able to see at least a dozen of different species, so let's bring that to Planet Zoo as well. When it comes to lizards, I can totally see some of them being the regular habitat species, especially that nowadays Frontier is adding smaller and smaller habitat animals. First up on my list are the chameleons. I just cannot believe that we still don't have chameleons in the game. Those are some of the most commonly known reptiles that are very common in zoos, reptilariums and even as pets. The species that I would really love to see are the veiled chameleon, the panther chameleon, the jackson's chameleon and the Pygmy Chameleon. Another underrepresented group of lizards is geckos, small mostly carnivorous lizards that have a wide distribution and are found on every continent except Antarctica. 
Those are again very popular zoo animals and a lot of animal lovers keep them at their homes. My list includes here the beautiful Madagascar giant day gecko, the feisty toke gecko, the leaf-tailed gecko which is the master of camouflage, the big-eyed crested gecko and the leopard gecko that I used to keep as a pet as well and they are so so lovely. Moving on from the geckos, here we have the frilled lizard from Australia. Its name comes from the large frill around its neck. The Forney Devil is another lizard native to Australia that has the distinctive spikes covering the entire upper side of its body. We already have two different monitors in the game, but I decided to add two more to my list. The amazing blue spotted tree monitor because I just love its color and the green tree monitor, the lizard specialized in climbing trees trees. The plumed basilisk is one of my favorite lizards because it reminds me of a prehistoric dinosaur. Just look at that crest. The bearded dragon is another lizard commonly kept as a pet. It is native to Australia and lives in arid climates. I think you can all see how the rhinoceros iguana got its name. It is an endangered lizard with a characteristic horn on its snout. The critically endangered Fiji crested iguana is a stunning reptile that lives only on several small islands of the Fijian archipelago. The Mexican beaded lizard is a venomous lizard native to Mexico and Guatemala that is a member of the same genus as the Gila monster that we already have in the game. The Solomon Island skink is a very unique species of skink. It is the largest of all the skinks, it is the only skink with a prehensile tail and is the only skink that is entirely herbivorous. Last but not least, here we have the European legless lizard, a very interesting lizard that may look like a snake but is still considered a lizard, just with the reduced legs due to them being no use in locomotion. The easiest way of distinguishing the legless lizard from the snake is by looking at its eyes, as snakes do not have eyelids and the legless lizards do. Moving on to the next group. Turtles, terrapins and tortoises is another group that could use some additions. Currently we only have two giant tortoises and one terrapin and this family of reptiles is very diverse and has some really interesting individuals that I would love to see in the game. Some of those could easily be the regular habitat animals and I certainly wouldn't be mad about that. Let's focus on turtles and terrapins first. First up we have the alligator snapping turtle, the animal that is very highly requested by the community and I can totally see why. The Roti Island snake necked turtle got its name from its very long neck. They are the side necked turtles, meaning that they tuck their head partially around the side of their body when threatened instead of directly backwards. Not all the turtles have hard shells. There are also soft shell turtles, just like this Chinese soft shelled turtle. The Mata Mata turtle is a very strange looking nocturnal creature, its appearance helps it to blend with the surrounding nature as it looks almost like a dry leaf. The Pignose turtle is quite popular in zoos and aquariums. It is very unique because its feet are flippers resembling those of marine turtles and the nose looks like that of a pig. The most popular pet terrapin in the world, the red-eared slider, had to make its way into my list. It gets its name from the red stripe behind the eye and its habit of sliding off rocks and logs into the water when it is alarmed. There are so many land turtles that I could choose for this list but I had to pick so I decided to go for these. The radiated tortoise is considered to be one of the world's most beautiful tortoises. It is native to Madagascar and unfortunately is critically endangered. The carpus of this tortoise is marked with yellow lines radiating from the center of each dark plate and this is how it got its name. The Greek tortoise is one of the five species of Mediterranean tortoises and can live up to 200 years. I wonder why people decide to keep it as a pet. Another tortoise with a beautiful carapace is a leopard tortoise. It is native to Africa and often dwells in abandoned burrows made by the aardvarks. The red-footed tortoise is an omnivorous from South America that lives in variety of different biomes. Finishing this group, here we have a very unique pancake tortoise. It is a flat-shelled tortoise from Tanzania and Kenya. Thanks to its flat shell, it is able to hide from predators in narrow rock crevices. 
those were all the reptiles that I decided to include in my wishlist, so now let's focus on the amphibians. Just as with reptiles, I believe that the amphibian roster in the game could be bigger and there are some really cool species missing. Let's begin with the frogs and toads. The first amphibian on my list is the African bullfrog, a large frog known for its large appetite. The long-nosed horned frog is another camouflage master on my list. This frog resembles a dry leaf and has characteristic horns above its eyes. The black rain frog is a funny looking grumpy little creature that often is used for the memes and I can totally see why. The European tree frog is native to most of Europe. This is a typical green frog that was an archetype for a lot of frogs in children's books and cartoons. This frog is a tomato frog that has a striking coloration. Its skin produces a thick substance that numbs the predator's eyes and mouth when it attempts to grab it. The galaxy frog is native to India and is one of the most beautiful amphibians that I have seen. Another pretty frog that is fairly common in zoos around the world is the blue poison dart frog. This next animal, the common Suriname toad, is certainly not pretty, but it has the very unique breeding habits. The female is incubating the eggs in the honeycomb chambers on its skin on the back. After the period of 4 to 5 months, it is releasing the fully formed froglets from its skin. I also included two species of salamander on my list, the hellbender that is a giant salamander native to United States and it is the largest salamander in North America. However, this next animal, the Chinese giant salamander is the largest salamander in the world and in general the largest amphibian. Because of its size, I can totally see it as a regular habitat animal in Planet Zoo. Last but certainly not least, when it comes to the amphibians on my list, uh, here we have the only nude that I decided to include, the Emperor Spotted Newt. I love it because of its amazing colors. The next group that we'll cover in this video are the Anthropodes, the invertebrates with segmented bodies and joint limbs such as spiders and insects. We have several of them in the game, but there are still some that I would like to see added one day. The Praying Mantis is a predatory insect named for the look of its folded forelegs, which are held close together as if prey. Praying. I have seen those tiny little guys in a lot of zoos. The leafcutter ants can carry 20 times their body weight and cut and process fresh vegetation such as leaves, flowers and grasses. It is super cool to observe the entire colony of those ants working together and exploring their tunnels. This is the Black Widow Spider. Females are more distinctive, with shiny black bodies and red hourglass shaped marking on the underside of their abdomen. This spider's bite is much feared because its venom is reported to be 15 times stronger than the rattlesnakes. This terrifying arachnid is a web spider. This is another creature that I saw for the very first time in the San Diego Zoo and I was both a little scared and mesmerized by it. The Lord Howe Island Stick Insect is one of the rarest insects in the world. They were also heavily rumored to be included in one of the previous Planet Zoo DLCs. I think it was the Australia pack but we never actually saw them in the game. Similar creature to the stick insect, the spiny leaf insect belongs to the well camouflage group of insects called phasmids. Those insects often resemble branches, sticks or leaves. The Malayan jungle nymph is one of the largest phasmids. Because of its size, it is commonly kept in zoos and private terrariums. The rainbow grasshopper is one of the most colorful insects from its family. It is native to the United States and Canada. The desert locust is known for forming large swarms and migrating great distances in search of food. The giant African millipede is the largest of the world's 10,000 species of millipedes and can often be seen in zoos around the world. I of course had to include at least some beetles in this list as those are some of the most beautiful insects in my opinion. The ones that I would love to see in Planet Zoo are the colorful sun beetle, the stag beetle with horns that remind those of the deer, rhinoceros beetle with a characteristic horn and the giant elephant beetle. Coming up with the list of species that could work for the walkthrough exhibits was a real struggle to me. The obvious choice is the small flying birds, however those are still not confirmed for Planet Zoo. In the end, I came up with those ideas. 
Similar to the butterflies that we already have in the game, sometimes you can also see the dragonflies in the walkthrough insect enclosures. Those cool insects come in different shapes and sizes and can be very interesting to observe. If we take the butterfly walkthrough exhibit and make it a bit darker, it could perfectly work for moths. There are some really beautiful species of moths that could easily work for Planet Zoo. For example, the Atlas Moth or the Luna Moth. Holding on to the idea of the nocturnal walkthrough exhibit, I recently read about a very cool thing that has been introduced to the Taipei Zoo. The Firefly Walkthrough Exhibit. Imagine those beautiful night scenes with those tiny little lights. I believe that we could also get another species of bat for some added variation. I especially would love to see the large flying fox, one of the largest species of bat. The last group on my wishlist might be a little controversial, but I would love to see some small mammals in those exhibit boxes. We don't have any small mammals available for those exhibit boxes and I believe that they would be perfect for animals such as small rodents or marsupials. The European hamster is a critically endangered little rodent native to Europe that would work perfectly for an exhibit like that. Talking about the little animals, here is the elephant shrew. Its name comes from the resemblance between their long noses and the trunk of an elephant. The tarsier is one of the most unique primates on our planet. It is known to have the largest eyes of any mammal in relation to its body size. Each eye is actually heavier than its brain. Gerboras are hopping desert rodents found throughout North America and Asia. They tend to live in hot deserts. When chased, gerboras can run up to 24 km per hour. The last animal on this list and in this video is an adorable sugar glider. A small omnivorous arboreal marsupial known for its ability to glide through the air from one tree to another. This is all when it comes to my list of all the exhibit animals that I would love to see in Planet Zoo. We again covered exactly 80 species of my favorite animals and even if several of those would be ever added to the game, I would be just extremely happy. Let me know down in the comments if my list included some of your favorites or maybe you have some other small animals on your list that were not included here. The other thing that I would love to see in Planet Zoo when it comes to the exhibits are different shapes and sizes but this is the topic for a whole another video. Let me know down in the comments if you enjoyed this video because I can certainly do more of those in the future. If you enjoyed this video and you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please consider subscribing. Also give this video a big thumbs up down below if you enjoyed it, ring the bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a video like this, and if you'd like to support my channel a little bit extra you can do it with the join button down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!